Hey guys, what's going on? Spoon here, back again with some more No Man's Sky. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a suspension bridge using the new base building features. So a lot of this is actually going to use the old base building features, but uh, it's in the Frontiers update. So first of all, what you're going to need to do is find an area where you want to place a suspension bridge. For me, it's going to be across these two land masses here. So you can see I'm on this one and Okay, maybe you can't see. Well, right, just there behind the cloud to the upper right, uh, you'll see the other one. It's a bit of a fair distance away. The other one that I've built so far was a little bit closer than this. But this is uh, a, a very good spot for it. So, what we are going to need to do first off, once you've found your area, is bring up the build menu and place down a bunch of straight corridors across the two. So, get into your large prefabs and rotate the straight corridor across until it's directly facing between you and your target. Place it down, jump on top, and keep placing until you get across the other side. Having it on the uh, snap placement would help for this as well. So what you're wanting to figure out here is how far this is, and if it's level and straight. So if you're happy with the placement, of your corridors uh, if you needed to be up a little bit or down a little bit in comparison to your target destination. As we can see here getting to the end we are pretty much perfect for level. There we go. It's a little bit low but as you can see placing a corridor on this side removes a little bit of landmass so I think that's uh, about as good as it's going to get. Don't really need to mess around with it at all. So now what you need to do is count the amount of corridors we've got here. Now I'm not going to count them for you, but do have 46 corridors from one side to the other. So now that you know the exact amount of corridors that you have between the two, you need to decide whether or not you want a single or double towered suspension bridge. For me, 46 is a very long distance. Uh, as you can see here, we've got the butter mode up. You can see the distance between the two. I don't think a single tower suspension bridge would do the trick, so I'm going to turn it into two. So we're going to need to have three equal sections of corridors. So we've got 46 sections in total. So let's see the amount of space that a cylindrical room takes up. So if we just get into the build menu, bring up the cylindrical room and place one down. and then replace the corridors next to it. And then delete the cylindrical room. We can see that the cylindrical rooms take up three sections of corridors. So the distance that we have is 46 corridors long. If we remove two sections of three for two cylindrical rooms, that leaves us with 40. 40 divided by three is 13.33. So the corridor that I'm standing on right now it's over the landmass quite a way, so I think we can uh, get away with just deleting it. And that would bring us down to 39 sections of corridor. 39 divided by 3, that gives us 3 equal parts of 13. So if we go ahead and delete this section. So then what we're going to need to do is jump on top and count out 13 sections of corridor. Once you get there, we need to open up the build menu again and delete three sections of the corridor in front of us. Now, I made a little bit of a mistake there. I couldn't um, place that just because I was too close. I didn't need to delete an extra corridor there. So let's place that back down. There we go. We've got our 13 section. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So then what we need to do is do the exact same thing for the other side. We need to count out 13 sections of corridor, delete three, and place a cylindrical room down. And there's 13 there, we'll delete three, knock down another cylindrical room. So the next step in the suspension bridge process is to place a cylindrical room frame on the bottom side. I also like to place one on the top side 
But to start things off, we actually need to place the cuboid room frame on top. This is the basis of our tower, and you need to decide how tall you want it to be. So keeping in mind that our sections of corridors are 13 long, we're going to place a tower 5 cuboid room frames high. We'll do this on both of the cylindrical rooms. And to keep things even, I'm going to place the cuboid room frame on the bottom side of the other cylindrical as well and to finish off the bottom section we're going to use the foundation set for the cylindrical rooms place that on the bottom and that gives us our supported feature on the bottom side so from here on out we are going to be placing down the suspension cables located in the power and industry section you're going to find the supply lines picking up the supply lines and entering into free mode and then going over and selecting your free placement you're going to want to set your camera up fairly close to your tower and then place the supply line in the center of the cuboid room frame, dragging it down to the corridor in front. Now the way your suspension bridge works is the higher point in the tower, the closer it is to the base of the tower. So our highest point goes to the closest corridor towards the cylindrical room. Following this process, we move out every time we go down one. Okay, and I can't place that last pipe, so I just need to move slightly and then I'll place that down and that's one side done. There we go, we have our first side of our suspension bridge done for the first tower. Order of the way there. So I'm just going to quickly go and do the same for the other side of the tower. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't even know that uh, this planet had, an, had a worm and there goes our a bridge <laughs> would be stuffed right now if, if that thing actually took out base, base parts <laughs> all right with the power of editing i will be back in two seconds having this side completely done okay so all of our suspension cables are placed down now what we need to do is move out onto the bridge a little way so we can delete this bottom cuboid room frame. So bringing up the build menu and then going over to the prefab section, we need to select the cylindrical room frame again. Deleting the bottom cuboid room frame there, we can place the cylindrical room frame on top of the cylindrical room. As you can see, you have two sections you can actually snap this cylindrical room frame to. Rotating it will choose between the top of the cylindrical room and the base of the cuboid room frame above it. I like to place it on the base of the cuboid room frame as it keeps the tapered roof of the cylindrical room. Just like that. In my opinion that gives it a much nicer clean finished look. So there you have it, that's the basics of the suspension bridge. All you need to do is replicate that for the other sides. So what I'm going to do now is go over to my starship and fly over to the base where I'm actually building this suspension bridge and show you what I've done with it so far. So this is my base that I'm keeping a little bit secret so you guys get a little bit of a sneak peek here. We're flying past my suspension bridge that I've already built. Now the, uh, the cables have just rendered in there. And we've got two landing pads down the base here. We jump out and we're going to go into photo mode. When we jump out, you can see the uh, towers over there, and we'll jump over into, into photo mode to get a bit of a closer look. You can see all of our suspension cables using the exact same build principles that we were using to build the test one. And on top, I've placed a cuboid room roof. Um, it does not snap to the top of those frames, but you do need to centralize it in free placement mode. Place it down and then I've used a couple of the new banners and flags. Also a couple of the new ornament pieces in the antennas and lights. Please ignore the, 
Let's ignore the background pieces over there. I am trying to extend my base out that direction towards a electromagnetic power source. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below, consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.